Welcome back to Mrs. Stewart's Crochet Club. Um, today we're going to go through a journey of making our very own um, granny square purse. It's going to take time. It's going to take patience. It's probably going to take a week or so to make. Um, but when we're done, we're going to have 10 granny square panels sewn together in a beautiful bag, a nice little accessory. And everybody will be asking where you got that from. And you could say that you made it yourself. Please follow along. We'll go slowly. We'll take our time and we'll have a nice completed project when we're done. Thank you. I'll see. All right. So here we are um, doing the basic granny stitch square. And when we have enough of these, we're going to sew them all together and make a beautiful chic boho purse. Everybody will be asking where you got it from. And you can tell them that you made it yourself. So for my granny square, I'm using five different colors. So we're doing five rounds, starting in the center with yellow, purple, blue, red and dark blue. Um, you are welcome to use whatever colors you want. You can keep it all one color. Um, you could switch colors each round. Um, it's all personal preference. Um, I chose this dark blue here instead of black. Black is kind of like a traditional um, edging color, but I chose blue just for the sake of being able to see it better on camera. So um, let's get started. You will need a crochet hook. Um, I am using size 5.5 millimeters and I guess that's an I-9. Um, you can really use any size that you want. Um, the only difference is if you use a smaller size hook you'll have a smaller a smaller square will be a result. A bigger bigger hook it'll be looser and the square will be slightly bigger. Um, but because it's not a garment uh, it's just a bag. It doesn't really matter so much as long as the end result is big enough for you. So let's get started. Grab your first color and grab your hook. Let's begin our first granny square. So grab your first color. Mine is yellow and make your slip knot. So for me, I cross my yarn over and I reach through the hole and pull up the working thread from my ball of yarn. Insert your hook and tighten it up. Okay, there's many ways to do it. You use, to use the best that's for you. Um, the next step to making a granny square is to chain four. Let's, okay, let's chain four. Here we go. Rat, yarn around needle, hook one, two, three, four, keep it nice and loose. We're going to take our hook and insert it into the very first chain that we did that's right here down by this knot to make a circle. Okay, so insert your hook, grab the working yarn and pull it through, pull it through one, and pull it through two. So you should have a circle right there. It might not look quite circleish yet, um, but if you pull it apart a little bit, you'll see there is a little hole in there. Um, we're going to chain three, and this chain counts as a double crochet. crochet. One, two, three. Now, next we're going to do two double crochets into that center ring that's right here. Um, I try to hold my tail end with my work. That way I'm working over top of it, and I won't have to sew it in. Um, as much when I'm done. So here we go, two double crochets. Double crochet is like this. Yarn around needle, yarn over, hook. I keep saying needle. You're gonna insert your, insert your hook into the center of that ring. You might have to pull it back a bit and pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on your hook right now. Put your, you're gonna yarn over again, pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two okay next double crochet so we have two on the hook we have yarn over insert through the circle that's in the middle pull up a loop you have three on your hook and pull through two and pull through two 
Uh, now we've reached a corner, so in the corners we are going to be chaining two. One, two. We're on to our next cluster. We're going to have in the end three clusters of, sorry, four clusters of three double crochets. So on to the next one, yarn over, insert into the center of the ring, pull one loop, and you have three on your hook. One, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, yarn over. Insert into the middle of the circle, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, next one, yarn over and insert into the middle of the work. You have three on your hook, pull through two, pull through two. Now here we're at the next corner, we did three double crochets, so we're going to do a corner now, chain two. One, two. We have two clusters. We're going to get two more. So here's three more double crochets. Yarn over and insert into the center. Pull up one. Pull through two. Pull through two. Next, yarn over. Insert into the center. Pull up a loop. You have three on your hook. Pull through two, pull through two. Last one for this set, yarn over, insert into the center, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. We're at our next corner, so at the corners we chain two. One, two. We're at our last cluster of three double crochets yarn over and insert into the center, pull up a loop and then pull through two, and pull through two again. Okay, next one, yarn over into the center, pull up a loop, yarn over again and pull through two, yarn over again and pull through two, and we have one more to go. Sorry, my tail was getting all up in my work. Yarn over, in through the center, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. So we have our three, three cluster, or four clusters of three, and we have one corner, two corner, three corners. We have to do one more corner. We're gonna chain two, one, two. Next you're going to find the top of this chain that we started with, so I think it's right about here. And we're going to insert our hook. Kind of got to jam it in there. It's not pretty, but it will get the job done. Insert that through the top of the first chain, and we're going to slip. This is called the slip stitch. Slip this one through here, and slip it through the other one on the hook. Okay, so that is the first round of the granny square. All you need to do now is secure it. So chain through there, you're gonna cut your yarn, and then you're going to simply pull it out. Doesn't look, doesn't feel like you should. Every time I pull one out, I'm thinking, oh no, I shouldn't be doing that, but it works out in the end. Um, so there is the first round of your first granny square. Um, it will have four corners, and four clusters of three. And the tail that you worked over, um, you can you can pull it a little bit to cinch it up just a little, not too much. And this one you can just clip. It doesn't need to be sewn in because we have crocheted all over top of it. It's not gonna come out. The next step is to grab your next color and meet me in one of these four corners. Okay, so my next color is this purple lilac -y color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose one of the four corners, maybe not the one I tied off in, I'll choose the next one. And I am going to somehow attach this string into this hole. I've seen different methods of doing this. Sometimes people will make a slip knot and then attach it that way. But I saw um, a video the other day where someone just inserted 
inserted loosely, so let me show you again. So instead of making a slip knot, they just folded the yarn to make a loop without tying it or anything. You stick your hook through the corner and loop the string around it. You're going to pull it through and then you're going to reach through and grab both of these and pull them on through. This is to me unconventional, but I liked it. I tried it and I liked it. I'm now going to drop the tail end. So the tail end is the short end and then the long end, sorry, I can't doing this backwards. The long end, I'm going to continue and chain two. Now it's a little bit hard to get it through there. So there's one, you kind of got to work it because it's two stitches we're going through. One, two, and is it tall enough? I might go for a third. You can go for two or three. I'm going with a third because I think it needs to be taller. Okay, so in the corners, every corner of your granny square now is going to be a, a combo. It's going to be three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. Every corner is going to have that. So this is where we're going to go. So that counts as your first double crochet, and we're going to do two more. So yarn over, insert through that space, and pull up a loop. You should have three. Yarn over again. Pull through two, yarn over again, and pull through two. Here's the next one. Yarn over, insert through this hole, and pull up a loop. There's three on your hook. Pull through two, and pull through two. And there's your first cluster of three double crochets. Now, because this is still a corner, this is going to become the new corner. We're going to chain two. One, two. And we're going to yarn over again. We're going to do put a second cluster of three double crochets into the same spot we just worked into. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. You have three on your hook. You're going to pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, oops. We need two more double crochets. Yarn over, insert through that hole. You're going to have three on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through two. And the last one. Yarn over, insert through that hole. Yarn over again, pull through two. Yarn over again and pull through two. So we have now completed the corner. Now, the only other place that we can go to is this corner. So we're going to repeat what we did in this corner, we're going to repeat in this corner. So we're going to do three double crochets, two chains, and three double crochets in this corner. Let's do that. Here we go. Yarn over in the hook, in through the hole, pull up two, yarn over, pull up two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, next one. Yarn over, insert and pull up the string. Three on the hook, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Last one of this set, this cluster. Yarn over, insert into the middle. Pull through. You have three on your hook. Pull through two. Pull through two. Now I have my cluster of three. I'm going to work my corner to chain two. One, two. Okay, the second part, so I'm turning the corner now. I'm going to add another cluster right here of three double crochets. Insert, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, insert into that hole. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Next one, yarn over, insert into the hole, pull up your loop, you've got two on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that's what we're going to do for the next two corners. I would like you to do these two and meet up with me, same like we did that 
three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. We'll meet you up when we get there. Okay, so I have gone around my four corners and I'm now back to the start. I know that it's the start because there's nowhere else for me to go. Um, so what we're gonna do is look at that first chain that we did. We are going to insert between the V, stick it in there. Now, I tend to be going through two, two loops. Um, that just is a skill. So we're going to pull through this one, pull through it again. We're gonna chain one just to secure it. And then we're going to cut our yarn and pull it on through. I'm I've cut my yarn and I'm just going to pull this through, Bing, just like that. Okay, so we've now done two rounds of our first granny, granny square. So notice it's multiplied, there's four, then there's two, four, six, eight, and it's gonna get bigger on the next round. Now if you'd like, you can find your darning needle and you can flip it over now, so the ones that you crocheted over, I always crochet over the starting of the yarn. So this one, I'm just gonna cut it. I'm brave and I'm not worried that it's gonna come unraveled. And this one, I'm also just gonna cut it because I crocheted over top of it. So those two, I'm gonna just cut off. Um, but this one, which is the ending of the first round, I'm going to darn it in. So we simply insert it here easy way is to insert through there and then you're going to take a look and see the best pathway to hide this yarn so I would say that I'm going to go through the top and the job is just to go kind of in and out and in and out and in and out until it's secure and we feel safe enough to cut it off. There we go. Okay. Go through this one. Kind of aim for the center. Very good. Okay. So I think for me that's enough. I'm not worried about it unraveling. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and flat and then I'm gonna cut these ones off. This one we just finished. Um, we can go ahead now and weave it in. Sometimes I leave mine till the very end, um, which is just a bad crochet habit. Um, some people just like to leave them to the end. Other people have to do it as they go. It's up to you. So this one I'm looking again, I see some good spots I can weave it in. I kind of cut this a bit short, but it's okay. Where there's a will, there is the way. I'm just gonna go up and down. I see some good spots that I can hide thread. Okay. The good thing about this project is that the wrong side is going to be the inside of a purse and I'm considering just adding um, a lining to it so if there's any stragglers and it's not perfect you will never see it because this will be on the inside of a purse. So I'm going to go ahead and cut all those strings and then we will join the next color. Okay, so for me, my next color is this very vibrant blue, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the last one. I'm gonna show you an alternate way to add um, the string, the new string onto the corner. Um, maybe the other way is a little uncomfortable if you're a new crocheter. So another way to do it is make a slip knot, and that can be your start. So insert, your needle through any of the corners and grab onto your yarn properly and then you can chain one just to secure the yarn so that is secured okay so I'm going to start with my chain three one two three and the same as the previous round each corner is going to have th uh, a cluster of three double crochets, chain two, three double crochet. So here we go. Yarn around and through two. Okay. Oh. 
yarn over, insert through the hole, pull up a loop, one, and two. That's the double. Okay, so now we are finished our cluster, first cluster of three. One, two, three. We're going to chain two. One, two. Next cluster of three. Yarn around needle, insert into this hole, pull up a loop. We have three on our hook. Yarn around the needle, pull through two. Yarn around the needle, pull through two. Next one, yarn around needle, hook. Yarn around the hook. I keep saying needle, but I mean hook. Pull up one, pull through two, pull through two. We have two double crochets. We need one more for this set. Insert and pull up the yarn. You have three on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. The next, the next stitch. So this one is different than the previous round because suddenly we have a space here. So every triangle space is going to have a cluster of three double crochets with no chains, just three double crochets. So let's go straight into it. Yarn over into this space. Yarn over. You have three on your hook. And two, go through two. Okay, next one. Yarn over, go through the space. Pull up one hoop. One two, one more, yarn over and right through that space, you're going to pull through two, sorry, pull through two, pull through two. I'm going to pull out some more yarn here, I'm getting a little bit tight. Okay, so now we've reached another corner. Here we are at the corner. We're going to be doing the same cluster as the one below it, three, double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Chain two, one, two, Three double crochets. One, two. Oh, my yarn is attacking me right now. It's rolling around. And last one, three. Okay, so you're going to continue this pattern all the way around two clusters in the corner with a two chains in the middle. So there's one one cluster of double crochets here. So three double crochets. We're going to continue all the way around. One, two, three. That's your cluster in the middle. Remember, there's no there's no chains with this one. We're just gonna go straight to the very corner. We're gonna do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and meet me when you get back to the other side. Okay, so we made it all around. We're back to the start again. We're going to find the top of the chain three, which is roughly there, insert our hook, Pull this one through, through one time, and then through again on the next one. You can simply do a chain and then cut your yarn. Oops. Cut your yarn and pull it through. That's all you need to do. That is the third round. We have two more rounds to go. It goes in the same pattern. So um, the next round is going to start in a corner. You're going to do three, chain two, three, and then in these each little V shape that you have, you're going to do a cluster of three double crochets, three double crochets, and in this corner you're going to do three, chain two, 
three. And we're gonna continue that pattern all the way around. My next color is red. I'm going to try and avoid joining in the same spot. Oh, you can take some time and weave that in. I'm gonna leave it and do it later. Um, I'm gonna start in a different corner. So I finished off here. I'm gonna go over here just for fun. Um, let's use the slip knot technique. Do a little slip knot. Insert your hook into any of the corners. I like to start in a fresh corner. Okay, we're going to secure that. So what I'm doing to secure that is I'm just doing basically a chain. Or I'm slipping is what it's called. Okay, so it's secure. I'm going to do my chain three, which counts as a single as a double crochet. Two, three, and go on with my cluster. So I need two more double crochets. One, two, the next one, in through the center, three on the hook, on the hook, go through two, go through two, and because this is a corner, we need to make sure that we add our chain two. So here we go. One, two. We're gonna do our second cluster of three into that same space. There's one double crochet. Two, pull through two, pull through two, yarn around the hook, insert and pull up the yarn. You've got three, pull through two, yarn around the needle, around, around the hook, sorry, pull through two. Okay, next one, this is just a regular space, so we're going to do three double crochet. Pull through two. Pull through two. My yarn is getting tight. Gonna let, some, let loose some of the yarn. Okay, we have one. Pull through two. Pull through two. One more. Yarn around. Pull through two. Pull through two. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next V. Okay, my yarn is not cooperating. We're gonna to go to the next V that's right here. I'm gonna do three double crochets again. One, two, one, pull through two, pull through two, yarn around. Oops, pull up our loop, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, we've got, reached our next corner. It's going to be a cluster of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. One. Two. Oops, I almost hit the camera. There, I've got two. Number three. Okay, so because I'm in a corner, let's do the chain two. One, two, and we're gonna add another cluster into the same spot. One, two, three. Okay. Perfect, so you should have turned the corner. So the next we're gonna continue with this pattern the two in the corner, the two clusters in the middle, and the two in the corner with the chain as well. Um, when you get back to this side, I will join you again. Okay, so I have made it around back to the beginning. I'm gonna find the top of my chain, my beginning chain, which I think is around about here. I'm gonna insert my hook. Uh, pull through and pull through again. Do one little chain to secure it. Cut my yarn. 
and pull it out. Tighten this up a little bit. You can take some time and weave in your ends. However, I'm not gonna do that. I would like to wait, torture myself and do it at the end. So, so far, you should have something that looks like this. Um, the next round is just building on the square. So in each space, you're gonna have a cluster of three double crochets. And in the corner, you'll have two double crochets separated by a chain two. So, um, so grab your last color. Mine is a beautiful blue dark blue and you're going to again make a slip knot move this out of the way for a second make your slip knot cross mine over and I pull my string through grab your work I'm going to choose a different corner so I finished off here I'm going to continue there there's no particular reason for that I just like it <laughs> so I'm going to Secure my work, pull it through the corner, and do one chain just to secure it. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Two more double crochets. One. It's harder to see this color because it's so dark. But I think if you've gotten to this point, you should be able to follow along. Go through two. Oops. See, I dropped it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep going. I pulled it out. I've got two on my hook or two on the work, and I'm going to go through again. I dropped it, so that's okay. Pull it through. You've got three on the hook. One. Two. And because we're in the corner, chain two, one, two, another cluster of three double crochets, one, two, here's the next one, go through two, go through two, and the last one for this corner, three on the hook, pull through two, Pull through two. Okay, so we're just gonna go across, putting our three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Let's see if we can get back to the same point all the way around. I'll meet you there in a minute. Okay, so hopefully you have gotten all the way around. Um, this is the end of our granny square, so we're gonna attach that part attach it at the top so look for the top of these this chain it's you count up three one two three insert your hook through the top here we go pull it through pull it through again oops sorry and chain one to finish off snip our yarn and just pull that right through and secure it so there you have your once you we weaved your ends in which I have not but once you weave them in um, you have one beautiful crochet granny square you need ten of these squares so Take some time, make up 10 of them, and try and make your border color the same for all 10 squares, um, unless you're eclectic and you like the, to have it all mixed up, and that's fine. Um, so come back and see me when you have your 10 squares ready to assemble. Okay, so here we are. Um, I have completed all of my 10 um, granny squares to make my purse. Okay, so I have laid out my bag the way I'd like it to be assembled. Um, so I have on both sides, so it's double-sided, um, we have three full squares at the top, and then this one is one folded up square. So in these ones that, are, that look like half, um, you're gonna fold them in half, 
here. So these ones, these four are all folded in half. So what we're going to do is we're going to t pick up our hook and we're going to start attaching these along all of these edges. And I will show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna start um, seaming together our granny squares. So what we're gonna do is a visible seam. So when I, um, when I attach these two together, it's gonna be a little bit up like that. So you'll see the seam between each block, but it it's actually makes a really nice effect. I've been playing around with it. Um, so the first step that we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your border color yarn um, and you're going to make a slip knot. So I've already made mine, but I'll show you again. Um, I cross my yarn over, cross my yarn over, and pull it on through. And give that a little tightening, tighten it up. And then you're going to take your two squares and you're going to place them with the wrong sides together. Um, how do we know what is the right side and what is the wrong side? When you take a look at your square, you should see the right side is the one where you should see all of the V stitches going all the way around the border. If you were to look at the other side, you can't see the V. All you can see is like lumps and bumps. Um, so the right side is the one with the Vs. So I've got my V sides, both of them. I'm going to stick them together like that. So make a sandwich. And I'm going to start in this corner. So I am going to, I took the yarn off my hook. I'm going to insert my hook through both square holes, the corner, and then I'm going to attach my yarn. I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to yarn over and pull one through. Um, so now your corners are attached. Now you're going to take a look at your um, chain three clusters and making sure that they stay lined up with the op with the one on the opposite side. And you're going to go through the V of each of these clusters. So there's one, two, three. You're going to go through the V for the side facing you and for the one behind it. So you, if you look, take a peek, um, it should be directly behind. You're gonna sh put your needle through there, your hook through there, yarn around, pull it through, and you're going to do, we're just doing this single crochet all the way across. So we're gonna yarn over and pull it through. That's the first of the cluster. Go into the next one. So the next one, we're going to insert our hook through there find its partner at the back. You'll see this is the second stitch of that cluster. Put it through, yarn over. There you go, you should have two on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through, okay? Here's the last one of this cluster right here. You should be able to insert right through right straight through if you have it lined up. It um, might be a little bit tricky and that might take a lot of practice. Um, so we're going to go through the one hoop, look to the back, and you're gonna go through its partner hoop. There we go. Chain over, or sorry, yarn over, and pull through. So we're gonna keep going down the line, trying to keep these as lined up as possible. Insert, yarn over, and single crochet. Okay, make sure you have enough loose yarn. We're going to go for the next one in this set. Put through that hole, put through the one behind it, the matching one behind it, pull through, and pull through one single crochet. Keep going. We're going to go all the way to the end. Pull through, and pull through. And through the next one, there's this one and this one. I'm going to pull through, two on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, I'm just adjusting, making sure everything's lined up. Go through this one in the front and the one behind it in the back. Yarn over, pull through one. You have two, yarn over, pull through two. Let's keep going. There we go pull through. 
Okay. Oh, the cat's going to help me do this crocheting as well. Put a like or a comment in the box if you have a cat that likes to help you do crafts. Um, going through the next one, here's the first one. There's the one behind it. Pull through, pull through two. Now mine has shifted a little bit, so I'm just adjusting as I go to make sure that I'm able to correctly access that hole. So here I am, I'm gonna flatten it out a bit. Um, here's the next hole and the one behind it. Pull through, pull through two. We're almost there, we've got three more plus the corner. We've got one, oops, sorry, hard to film and crochet at the same time. Pull through two. Next one. I think I'm struggling here because I might be where I had the knot, but I am persistent and I shoved it through and it's fine. Pull through two. Okay, last one. Last one of the cluster. Insert through the front. Insert through the back, the same matching stitch. Pull through and pull through two. Now we're at the corner. We're going to do one stitch. So insert, pull it out, yarn over and pull it through. Okay, so now um, we may, we are going to cut our yarn like so. And then we are going to grab the yarn and pull it through one time and keep going, 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 going and stitch it in. Now you, if you were able to do it, you should have this. So it looks like two, um, two granny squares that have a visible seam. I'm going to go on and we have to add one more um, to any of these sides. So the goal is to, I already went ahead and did another one. Um, so we're going to end up having this. So it looks like a V. I'm going to let's pan out, see if I can pan out. Um, so you're going to have a V shape um, by stitching one more to another one. Okay, so now that we've got two Vs like this, so this is the front V, and then this one is going to be the back V, um, we're going to insert or we're going to stitch on the piece that goes right here. So if you remember from what I showed you, this pattern has a series of folded um, granny crochet stitch or uh, squares. So this one is going to attach onto the front here and it's also going to attach onto the one on the back. So we're going to go ahead right now and just attach these two together. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm going to do this other side here. So it's gonna look like an M shape when we have all the sides hooked together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, same as we, uh, same as we did these other seams, you're going to do this one. So pause and do that and meet me up when you're done. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five granny squares um, seamed together in an M shape. Um, so these are the front panels. These are the sides and they're going to be folded over and attached to the other panel on the back like so. We're just imagining for now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and add the next panels um, that are gonna complete the front side. So you're gonna grab one of these and you're going to seam it to the middle panel and to one of the sides of the, uh, of, like one of the seams of the side panel. So just here and just here. So in the end, you are going to have it like this. So if you were to spread it out, it's going to be seamed here and here and the other one likewise will be 
in this corner. So it's starting to look a little bit like a blanket, but once we fold these over and attach them to the back panel, then it will be a bag. So let's go ahead and um, the same way we did the other ones, um, we're going to, with the wrong sides together, we're gonna over seam these ones all together. So meet me back once you have these little puppies um, attached. Okay, so I am back. Um, I have my three front panels sewn in. I have my two sides and my two bottoms. So um, it should look like this, where you, this is where we're at now. All we have left to do is to fold these ones over and uh, flip it over and attach the back panel. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna flip mine over. This is the wrong side. Remembering, um, so for me, this is the upside, this is the down. I guess it doesn't technically matter, like you, it's the same on either side. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna fold up my bottom, fold up my bottom, put on the back side, sorry, I hit the camera again. I'm gonna put on the back panel and I am going to do a straight attachment. I'm going to go attach this way. I'm going to fold this one over. So I'm going to be, um, if you can see that properly, I'm going to be folding these two over and I'm going to do my seam here and finish out the same here. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, folding this end up. I'm going to be seaming these two together fold in my side and I'm going to be seaming this one together and this one together. Now it's a little tedious. I think assembling any project is uh, can be a little bit tedious. It can be a little bit painstaking, but once like I'm getting excited, it's looking like a bag. So all I need to do is finish up all of my seams. Um, if you have trouble with this, uh, just know it should be a natural thing. Like you can see that needs to be seamed there. You can see this needs to be seamed here. Like this all needs to be attached into a bag. So um, let's take some time. It's gonna take me a little while. Maybe it'll take me half an hour to sit down and do all of this seaming. And I'll catch up with you once you get there. All right, so this is where we should be right now. So I finished it, I can't believe. I got to the end of this project. So I do obviously have to um, still weave in all these ends and finishing off by putting a handle of some sort on here. Um, but congratulations if you made it to this point. Um, I mean, it's a completed project so far. It, it feels great to complete uh, a project, which sometimes we just tend to um, put them in the bin if it gets to be too tedious. I did struggle, and to be honest, I mean, you might have as well, getting this square, like the corner, um, sorry, the sides, um, when it got a little bit tight at the end to try to and, and assemble it. And um, what I didn't mention before, um, which I'm mentioning now, is that you don't have to crochet these seams together. If you wanted to take a darning needle and um, sew them all together, you could do that. Um, I just find for me and for my purposes, it's quicker for me to... Um, crochet it together but you might be more comfortable as a beginner to um, sew them together with a darning needle and why not it's your project so um, let's go ahead and um, take a break I'm going to take some time and sew my ends in clip off all the junk and think about what kind of handle are we going to attach to the top of our bag here's mine um, there's the inside it is gorgeous, and I think I'm going to be rocking this purse um, when I go to school on Monday. Um, and I hope that you guys um, will enjoy what you've made as well. I've been in all of my loose threads. In, uh, most of them I pulled through to the inside and tied them off and cut them. Um, some of them I wove in extra well because it was in an obvious spot. Um, and I've made a decision about the handle. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And we are going to make a single crochet strap. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make our slip knot, cross it over, and then pull through the loop. And this is a four stitch strap plus one as a turning chain. So let's do four chain, uh, five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, we're going to skip the first one that's on the loop, that's our turning chain, and insert into the first stitch. So it's going to be four single crochet. Insert, pull through a loop, you should have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. That's one. Insert in the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, two on your hook, pull through again. Next one, insert, pull through, you have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Last one, insert your hook, you have two on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. So here we have our four single crochets. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, and then we're gonna do four single crochets back to the end. Look for the little holes. It's hard to see because of the color, but you should be able to see yours. Insert through that hole, pull up one, yarn over, pull through two. Insert, yarn over, pull through one, two on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Next. Insert through the hole, pull up one, yarn over, pull through two. Last one, a little bit tricky, hard to see, but there is a hole here and there's a V there as well. You should have, this is our fourth stitch. Pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Don't forget the chain one for our turn. Turn your work and go ahead and do four more single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Ch chain one, turn, and continue this pattern. You're gonna, con gonna continue this until it's approximately two feet long, 24 inches long, um, or this the length that you prefer for your bag strap. Um, I think it just works well for mine. Do that. Once you get to the end, we'll attach them to the bag. You need to make two straps like this. So grab your coffee, turn on Netflix, take an hour or two just to build this strap. It's a little bit tedious, but it's going to be worth it in the end. And it's only four perfect opportunity to practice your single crochet stitch. We'll meet you when you get your strap done. Okay, so here I am. I've made it to the end of my long strap. Um, and I didn't mention before, and I hope that you maybe have thought of this, but if you didn't do it, it's no big deal. Um, I left a long thread on either side for sewing. Um, I didn't leave a very long one, but it should be enough just to sew um, the handle on here. So I have a yarn needle. Um, hopefully you have one too. And I'm gonna grab the one end of my strap and finding the top hole of my um, top panel, I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it through that space. Okay, so my strap is going to go through this space. It might not look too pretty going in, but it'll be fine. Um, this is why I only made it a four stitch strap because it has to fit through the hole somehow. Um, so on the other side, it's gone through the side and I'm just going to take these two ends, um, fold this together and sew it in place here. So with my thread, with my yarn, I'm going to thread the needle and I'm just gonna go back and forth through both pieces of the strap 
until it's secure. Okay. Now, if you didn't leave a long tail, because I didn't mention it, sorry about that, um, you can always just attach a, uh, a piece of yarn, same as you would do if you were sewing um, fabric. You just attach the string. Okay, I'm almost done here. I'm sorry, the camera's a bit wobbly. I bopped it a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're going to Tie it off. This is the result of having a short yarn, piece of yarn. Tie it off. Hide the yarn as best as you can. And then snip my ends. There we go. Um, we're going to look at the second side. So I already have one of my straps here. I'm just going to roughly eyeball it and make sure that it is roughly the same length. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did on the other. So we're going to sew these two together. There we go. I'm not being super careful with this. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to tie mine off, roughly tie it off, pull the loop through this loop, do that a couple times, and then I'm going to bury my yarn and snip it off. And when you're done, you're going to have this gorgeous completed granny bag, granny square bag. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put a lining in. Um, I might do that. Um, I have lots of fabric and stuff laying around the house. So for that, I would just invert this and roughly uh, measure and sew a rectangle. I'd probably line it uh, roughly this way. I wouldn't line it all the way up here because I think it would not be aesthetically pe pleasing. Um, if you got to the end of this project and you have a beautiful, lovely bag, or if you learn the granny square by doing this project, please like and subscribe. I would love to have more people um, to crochet with. And when you're done, you're gonna have this gorgeous completed granny bag, granny square bag. Um, you could, if you wanted to, put a lining in. Um, I might do that. Um, I have lots of fabric and stuff laying around the house. So for that, I would just invert this and roughly uh, measure and sew a rectangle. I'd probably, line it uh, roughly this way. I wouldn't line it all the way up here because I think it would not be aesthetically pe pleasing. Um, if you got to the end of this project and you have a beautiful, lovely bag, or if you learn the granny square by doing this project, please like and subscribe. I would love to have more people um, to crochet with.